come and get it. Hello everybody, what is up Prop Toast here? So, I took a little trip to my local retro gaming store, Game Addicts, and picked up a fancy new N64, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what all I got. So, first off, comes with pretty much, yeah, it is a brand new N64 controller, not Nintendo brand as you noticed right here, but that's because of legal issues. And of course you get, it actually doesn't have the original one, but it does have like a whole brand new power brick for the N64. So pretty cool. Go ahead and line these up. And of course, you know, you get the system itself. This one's actually in rather good condition. It's only about like 89 I believe, so definitely happy with that. Cleaned out, made sure it's working perfectly. And of course you get standard AV cables, still in the box and everything. And then, did pick up one game, Mr. Makers on the N64. Even pretty awesome too, because over there they actually sat there and cleaned, like, because it was all dirty right here, but they sat there and like, cleaned it up. Got, like, the permanent marker that was written off of there, and that only took, like, what, three minutes to do? So, pretty awesome. So, I guess first we'll go ahead and basically show you these cables right here. So as you can see, brand new, standard, nothing special, you know, your standard HD, oh, not even HD, sorry, standard video. Then we got a power brick right here, which looks pretty nice. Has labeling and everything, so pretty awesome that it actually comes with, like, brand new ones, so you don't have to worry about it breaking down. And then, of course, we got the N64 controller. Now, beforehand, I actually took the liberty of cutting it open in the back just because just trying to do it off camera, I had enough pain in the last time, let alone trying to do it on camera. So, we're going to go ahead and open this up, tell you guys what I think about this. This is made by, uh, you can see it, Circa. So, we'll go ahead and see how this brand is. So, yeah, just doing that it took me a while to get in there with the knife. So here's the controller, feels about the standard, buttons feel pretty great, this is brand new. Feel, they do have a bit of resistance compared to the original, but I'm pretty sure once you work it in after playing. Thumbstick? Yeah, definitely feels pretty good. Of course it needs to be worked in a little bit, but other than that, feels pretty good. Of course you got your sense of design for the N64, if I can get it camera angled correct. Got your expansion slot, your Z button, and actually, let's see how long this cable is. I'm assuming it'd be like standard strength length, but so yeah, it's like an okay length, so it's not bad at all. So yeah, then of course the console comes doesn't come with the expansion RAM and everything, only because that's usually a tad more expensive. Actually, well, it's pretty hard to find actually. But I don't know if you can see in here, but totally clean, no dirt, not even scratches. Well, I mean, got some scratches right here, but that's kind of where it's in. And you got your expansion slot, which you never really used, but there is actually a CD adaption for the N64. Really hard to find. I haven't actually found one yet. And if you do find it, it's going to be super expensive. So the, then, of course, I think I got some HD cables for the actual standard. So yeah, Year ago, I got this over at um, it's an ocean sign. It's called Games ADX or Game ADX. Um, it's in say like I said, it's an ocean side. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below with the phone number and the address for the place. Be sure to check them out. They're actually pretty cool. They know their stuff. Good customer service, and they actually take the systems apart, clean them out, and make sure they're going to be working well for you. Alright folks, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll check it. Yeah, catch you guys later.